So here's how you put uh, these graphs on your blog, which are also going to put on your website. And this is also going to allow me to print them for you. So if you click on the graph and go to the corner here, you'll see that one of the choices is Save Image. Click on that. Now it saves your image. If you're on an iPad, um, you're going to save it to the photo album, and then you need to use Photo Bucket to get the link to put it on your blog. But on a laptop, we're going to go to Show in Finder because it called it Image. That's not very helpful. I'm going to call this one DO 2017. The other one I can call DO 2002 to 2017, so I can tell the difference. I'm going to move it to my Pictures folder because that way I'll know exactly where to look. Here's why I need to know that. Let me close this off. Now I'm going to go to my blog. And I titled my new blog Water Quality Data. I'm ready to insert image. So go to the Insert Image button. And you're going to upload from your computer. So I'm going to choose Files. I'm going to go to Pictures and look for DO 2017. Click, open, it's going to upload it, and then you can click on Add Selected. Now it's kind of small, so I'm going to make it original size, but watch this. When I save it and preview it, it's too big, and it goes into the side here, which drives me crazy. So here's how to fix that. You're going to click right here on HTML, and you're going to change its width. So let's go back to Compose, make it a smaller size. I'm going to choose Extra Large. Save that so you don't lose anything. And see how it made the width 640? If you change that 640 to 550, right here where it says Width, Notice I did not mess with the quotation marks. I just want to change the 640 to 550. I click back on Compose. When I save it and preview it, it's the perfect size. So do that with both your graphs uh, for each parameter your table is studying, and you will have pictures saved on the laptop to upload, and you'll have pictures on your graph that, on your blog that you, of your graph that you can put on your final project website.